How's it going, everybody? Today we'll learn about Konos and the convolution operation, arguably one of the most fundamental operation in all of computer vision and a concept that has widespread application in many deep learning architectures today. Let's begin with a really small image. This is an RGB image of size 10 times 10 pixels, and we'll start by applying a grayscale transformation to our image. 10 times 10 is a lot to work with when we're trying to compute the convolution by hand. So what we'll do instead, we'll resize our image to a 5 times 5 pixels image. And I took the liberty to create this um, in our spreadsheet software. So let me put that up for you. Not too bad. Now what a great series image is, it's just a big rectangular shaped matrix of numbers each between 0 and 255. To keep the math a little bit more tidier and easy to work with, we represent each pixel in our image, each pixel in here. We represent them with a value between the range of 1 and 4 instead. And I hope you can agree with me here, so let's try and do that, okay? So this is a fairly reasonable attempt, uh, attempt at uh, representation of our 5 times 5 image. So we give this a value of 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. For the dark, the, the black uh, borders the outlines. We'll give this a 2, a 2, 2. We'll give this a 3. And the lighter shades of gray, we'll give that a 4. Not too bad. Okay, so I, I hope this is a fairly reasonable representation of a 5 times 5 image. Now let's create ourselves a 3 times 3 kernel. So this is our kernel. Let's give it a name. I'm going to try and merge cells. Kono. Now Kono looks like that. Again, just to remind ourselves with what we're working with, we have a 5 times 5 grayscale image. This is our 5 times 5 grayscale image. And this is our Kono. It's a size 3 Kono, 3 times 3. Kernel, okay, and uh, you want to know that the kernel is usually a lot smaller than the image itself. So what convolution is usually is an operation where we apply a kernel, and just for this to be a little bit clearer, let's give it a color. Let's color this with a color of red. So what convolution is usually is an operation where we apply a kernel just a fancy word for an ND array of weights, a matrix of weights. We apply them and we layer them on top of our image. So we take this kernel, we layer them on top of the image, starting from the top left of our image. We take each coefficient, so there are nine coefficients in this kernel. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and there are nine coefficients. We take each one of them. We multiply by the corresponding pixels the value of the pixels, and we take the sum of it. Okay, that sounds a lot more complicated than what it really is. But when we walk through the math and work it out by hand, pixel by pixel, hopefully you, you start to get an idea of the whole notion of this convolution operation. So let's begin. We take this kernel, we apply that on the top left, start with the top left region, neighborhood of the image, and we do our math. Okay, so 1 times 1, what do we get? We get a 1. 1 times 1, that's a 1. 1 times 1, that's also a 1. 0 times 1, that's a 0. 0 times 4, that's also a 0. 0 times 2, that's a 0. 1 times 1, that's a 1. 1 times 4, that's a one, 4. And 1 times 3, that's a 3. So what is the sum of this different multiplication? So we have 3 here on the left, 0, 4, plus 4, 8, plus 3, 11. So we get 11. This is uh, the output. Okay, so let's create some space for that. Just to call it output. And we get 11. And if you're wondering how we get 11, try and do the math out. Um, you can do a, just probably just math out here. Let's get 1 times 1, plus 1 times 1, plus 1 times 1, plus 0 times 1, 
plus 0 times 4 plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 1 again plus 1 times 4 plus 1 times 3 and that's it you get a you get a sum of 11 once you've done with that you slide this corner along the horizontal axis you move it by one pixel and this doesn't necessarily have to be one pixel but just to start it out we, we, we start with one we start with one pixel we'll explain this a little bit later in the course um, we'll talk about the idea of uh, the, the, the idea of strides how strides for now we're gonna move it by one pixel along the horizontal axis so now we take the corner and we apply that we layer that on top of this neighborhood instead this region instead and we compute the output of that okay so let's do that one times one that's one one times four that's four one times two that's two so what do we get here six okay one times one that's a four one uh, that's a one one times four that's a four one times four that's a four so what do we get six plus seven plus four that's eleven and plus four that's a 15. Do we get this correct? 7? No. 1 times 1, sorry, 1 times 1, that's a 1. 1 times 4, that's a 4. 1 times 2, that's a 2. So here we get a 7. We get a 7 here, and we get a 9 here. So what do we get? We get 16. And again, if you want to pause the video a little bit and do the math out, it probably makes more sense when you do that. Okay. We apply this corner now to this region of the image and remember what we're doing really just sliding across the image and we do that for the first row and we, we do we, we try and finish this math out so let's well, what do we have here one times one 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 times four that's a four one times three that's a three so um on the left we already have eight here four times four plus three plus one that's an eight and here we have a three so that would be 11 for us that would be 11 and we do it for this no, we we'll take this corner now once we've done with the first with once we're done moving uh, to the to, at least to this side of the, the horizontal now we go down one we, we move it down by one pixel vertical and now we do it for this region instead so one times one one times one and we do it for this region we compute that out and i've done that for you already that's a 12 and we move it uh, move it again across the horizontal axis and we compute that again and again i, I encourage you to just pause the video and just do the math on to verify that I didn't uh, make a mistake in my uh, affirmatic in here. This is a 20, and here we have a 12, right? 4, 3, 2, that's a 9, 1, 1, 1, that's a 3. 9 plus 3, what do we get? We get 12. Here, same thing, move it down again. 1, 1, 1, that's a 3. 3, 2, 1, that's a 6. 6 plus 3, that's a 9. Move it down here, we get a 14. Move it down here, we get a 9. But how is this interesting, you ask? Well, this very fundamental idea of taking a kono and convolve it region by region, neighborhood by neighborhood, this very idea is used heavily in image processing um, to apply, say, a blur filter, a, a, a sharpening filter, a Gaussian filter for feature detection, uh, age detection, pattern extraction, you name it. Now, thankfully, we don't have to do this by hand, but we rely on OpenCV's filter 2D function instead. Very convenient function, and that's where we'll look at in the next course.